Dad, Amber's mom can drop us off if you're running late. Cam, I told you I would drive you to your overnight, and I will. Jenny's meeting me at the restaurant, and I thought I'd surprise her with one of Adrian's cotton candy liquid nitrogen milkshakes. She did love those shakes. <laughs> well, how do I look? Handsome. You sure the shirt works? You're going with the perfect color, Mr. Coyle. Green's the color of nature. Not to mention, it's the most restful color on the human eye. <laughs> Just saying, if you're looking for a conversation starter. <laughs> I appreciate that, Amber. Now, one more gift for you, Senor Coyle. Oh, you've already been too kind, Adrian. It's one of my personal favorites. Vanilla, essential oil using carbon dioxide under high pressure. Ethanolic essence, a fresh pineus. And an added touch of violet or poppy. Oh, I, I like that. Thanks, Adrian. Well, uh, I think I'm ready. Oh, almost. I found this in your closet, Dad. You should wear it. Shows off your fun side. I love it. <laughs> Cam made this for me when she was five. It was uh, in her early tie-dye phase. Unfortunately, it included a pair of her mother's really expensive heels. Remember that look on her face? <laughs> <laughs> You ready, ready for, for this? this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, one last thing. A good luck, gummy breath mint. Oh. Thanks, honey. Let's get going while these are still cold. so fast, don't they? See, but you have to let them go. We're talking about him, right? Uh, absolutely. <sighs> Addison, bring up the last case file again. Um, if you want to talk about today, I'm all ears. I'm fine, Addison. I just need to make sure I didn't miss anything. I can't afford another mistake. You think the Nighthawk or the Falcon or the Quail let things slip? File, please. Here you go, boss. Come on, Addison. My bad. Thought you said Kyle, please? Oh, Jesus! You are not gonna believe this. Remember when I said I'd find a way to thank you for hiring me this summer? And I said it wasn't necessary. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I found a way. Olivia James is coming to Cafe Adams! Eso es imposible! I remember you telling me how Olivia James is a culinary genius and how she brought nutritional foods into classrooms across the country. Well, she's coming to Space Inc. to develop a sustainable menu for Mars exploration, and she's looking for outside contributions to her menu! I can't believe this. This is a dream come true. Wait, wait, it gets better. I used my social media followers to convince her that when in Maywood Glen, the place to go was Cafe Adams. <laughs> She posted about it and made a point that she's gonna be here Friday night. If I can prepare something sustainable, healthy, and delicioso, maybe she will include it in her Mars menu. Okay, stay calm. Bryden, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I can use all of my culinary chemistry skills to show they have a place in science and space. Promise me he will help me make something perfecto. Promise me, chica! I will. I promise. Pinky swears. Okay, too tight. <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. Professor Cato's a big deal scientist and he lives in a trailer? Looks like someone left in a hurry. Really? Kyle looks like my room. So what, Cato fails to steal the biomed prototype and decides to get out of town before someone catches on to him? Could be. Check for anything suspicious. I'll dust for prints. By the way, love the new bag. Digging the purple. One of the perks of being the owl. Okay, these are creepy. Never understood the obsession with clown paintings. 
Looks like the professor was moving into mixed media. Check out the treasure chest. Of course, it's locked. Bingo. Flash drive. Isn't this refreshing? Nobody sneaking glances down to their screens. Everybody ready to learn? Uh. Now, you will have to write down your answers to today's quiz on a piece of paper with a pencil. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end? Yes, Justin. The yellow wooden thingy with the rubber doodad on the end. Kyle. Look, I'm really sorry about before. I just have some things on my mind. It's fine. No big deal. You ever hear the one about the geometry class that was always tired? They were out of shape. <laughs> she could shape and geometry. <sighs> Commence bugging. Where's that coming from? Class, I think we have a visitor. It's my portable long range acoustic device. I modified the extra ultrasound sensors for my dad's remote control model rocket. Here? It's for Helix the cat's birthday. Gotcha. You made your sister's cat a birthday present? And if you spoil the surprise for him, I'll be way crazy. Uh, you know, I think it's coming from over there. Hmm? Uh, nope, it's definitely coming from over there. Everyone just focus on your work. Let's see what you're hiding in your man purse, Gruber. Uh, gotcha. What a Tuna with the crust cut off. Happy teaching. Love, mom. <laughs> My hand's curping up. Screen. We're back on the grid. Greetings, Maywood Glenians. How you suffer without your precious technology. No texts, no phone calls, no games. Well, cry me a river. Mango coconut foam soup. What was I thinking? See that your pearls made from cold oil certification? Sorry, I know I'm late. What took you so long? My meditation class introduced some yoga and I got stuck in a cow face eagle arms. It's, it's a long story. Then trying to find everything on your ingredients list was, let's just say a challenge. So which Adrian Adams culinary masterpiece is gonna wow Olivia James and change the face of space cuisine forever? I've got nothing, nada. We've got to start over. Okay, okay. I've been researching. There are muchas cosas things to consider for the perfect menu item. Space diets can't have too much sodium. The decrease in red blood cells creates unhealthy levels of iron durante el viaje espacial profundo. Vanish to English app during deep space travel. Got it. Astronauts need extra calcium in a weightless environment. And there are too many freeze-dried options, pero no hay alimentos frescos suficientes. 
Not enough fresh foods. Hey, can we just stick to one language, please? This is what I do when I'm stressed. Okay. I need to create something that is not only delicious, but nutritious. And if it could be stored safely for the long journey into space, that would be la cereza del pastel. Icing on the cake. Wait, that's it. What about the perfect dessert? You may be onto something. We will make something that's never been tried before. Like a souffle. These sites list souffles as a top five choice for foodies across all ages. And with a few modifications, it could be high in protein, low in fat, healthy breakfast. Olivia James, prepare to be dazzled. Uh, here's what I need. We will start creating before Cafe Adams opens, 5 a.m. sharp, okay? Okay. Of course we will. <gasps> Calming breaths, bandwidth. <sighs> How much longer, Addison? I've tapped into Spacing's database. Should have the backdated security footage from Dr. Crawford's office soon. <laughs> Sorry, Em. You usually put my hard drive to sleep by now. I just need to confirm Dr. Crawford's story about her conversation with Professor Cato. It could shed some light on where he's hiding. Hey, stranger. I'm just saying goodnight. I'm in. Sending it to the monitor. it all away. I trust you to find a way to safeguard it. Fine. If you won't do anything about it, I will. So he did tell Dr. Crawford. Where is this guy, Addison? And what's his next move? Hmm. Addison. <laughs> I'm 